Next we look at bitwise operators. They apply logical operations on each bit. And also this allows you to manipulate basically each individual bit. So as notations we will again use what we've done before. Uh, we describe two variables a and b where we specify each bit, bit on position 8 down to bit on position 1 or 0 using them inside those brackets. What this means is if I take, I, I can basically say a is kind of this, strix 7, 8 and b is like this number here. And now what we do is we create, try to create a, a C by combining these bits of A and B. And uh, there are two, three, three kinds of operators that we can do with two inputs. One is AND, one is OR, another one is XOR. And we have one that is uh, working only on one input. So which is the complement, so the negation. So let's have a look at all of them. Particular XOR might be surprising. So if we write in C, C equals A or B, well, we apply OR operator on each bit individually. What does it mean? Well, we go for the position 8 and take those two bits. Is one of them set? We can look again in our truth table here. What does true to mean? Well, you have one is true, the other one is, tr is true. Well, the outcome is true. So that's basically how to read it. So yes, it's true. Is at least one true? Yes. So it's one, one, at least one is false, one, one. And here, in this case, none of them are set. So the result will be zero. And here the result will be one again. So that's what happens if you say C equals A or B. Let's say C equals A and B. Well, we have to do the AND operation, which means that both ha inputs have to be true, which in this case they are, to result in a true result. Here is only one, one, the other one is zero, so the outcome is zero, zero. Here is one, 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 zero, one. Okay, now we have the XOR operator, which is quite interesting. It's this little hat here. So in this case, only one, and exactly one must be true. So in this case, x or is zero. Here, exactly one is true. Here, exactly one is true. Both are true, which means x or will be false, 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 and false again. So that's the result of x or. So complement, you can apply complement only to a single input. So I can say, for example, that b is the complement of a. So what it means is that b you negate each bit, which is quite straightforward in this example. So a last interesting operation that we can do with shift uh, with bits is shifting. That means we can shift bits around. So we, if we write B and we use the shift operator, we can sh shift the bits in B by I positions to the left. In this case, we fill the new positions with zero. So that means if I have a a byte and I shift it by two, I remove a shift into from the right side two zeros and the two highest bits get basically lost. Okay, but so I fill them with zero and likewise I can shift to right um, if I change the operator from left shifting to right shifting. Again, filling new positions with zeros. There are also modes in which you fill the positions with ones, but they are quite uncommon. So here's a, qu a question to you. What does bit shifting do to binary numbers? So I have a binary number in two complement here, which is number one, and I shift it two times to the left. Think about what it does, because that is really a typical operation that you will use. Good, so the conclusion is it will actually multiply the number with two. How is that? All right, let's have a look. So first of all, we had the number zero 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 one. So by now, if I sh shift this number one time to the left, so I say shift by one, okay. A shifted by one, then A as a result will be looking like this. So I shifted the one 
every bit one time to the left. So what is this number in two complements? That's number one and that is number two. Okay, let's shift this number again by one to the left. So we add on the right a zero. So that's actually number four, right? So this is number two. So as you can see, um, applying shifting by two positions, actually that's identical, shifting two times one, so I can write it like so. A, shifting A two times to the left, I get the number four as a result, which means basically multiplying with four, right? So it, uh, wait, times four is the result over here, okay? So there are a lot of relational operators that allow you to now to compare numbers and then convert them into a logical value, true or false. So here on the left hand side you see the standard algebraic operators like not equal that becomes exclamation mark equals and comparison which is normally in math a single equal means you have in C to use two equals. Okay, so we can use this and therewith we can compare numbers. Let me try that. Uh, here we have the truth table, right? Uh, we already did use this, the basic one, right? Um, we can of course also say something like not equal and so on. So you can compare those numbers, right? You can use bigger or equal, which is here in the table. Yeah, and of course we can also use equal equal, right? If we like. Okay, and, and that's pretty much all that needs to be said to those um, operators. Um, I also have created a little example for this bitwise operators that you find in the repository. So you can use the bitwise operators to extract a certain number, a bit. 